Yep, that was a good looking sight with those jakes coming in. That lets us know we got some guys for next year. But it got me thinking, across the nation, the turkey population is declining. And I think there's a lot of reasons for that. And I don't pretend to be a biologist and somebody who knows, but I do watch indicators. So I put together what we think is our top five reasons that the turkey pop is declining. All right, no particular order. Reason one, I'm gonna turn you around where you can see it. Loss of habitat. All right, if you look across there one yeah. time, that was big mature trees that a bird could roost in, fly down, there was plenty of openings inside that was kept burning. That wasn't voluntary, that was from the tornado, but either way, that's now gone, and that's happening across the state of Georgia and across the U.S. We're losing habitat at a rapid rate, especially, especially big, pretty mature hardwoods where you got a nice oak stand that goes forever. They can get in there and scratch, strut, and be safe. So that's reason number one, loss of habitat. We're here at beautiful Mount Chickasheeto, which is a mountain of chicken litter, which is going to be spread on this ag field. Now, I don't blame them. You don't have to lime. It's great fertilizer. However, turkeys will peck the seeds that are come from chicken houses. They'll eat the seeds out of it. It's a disease-causing agent. A lot of people theorize that this is one reason why, because there's a big increase in chicken litter now versus commercial fertilizer, that this is one reason why population is declining, disease that they get through the chicken litter. And that's a definite possibility. All these are up for debate. It's just my top five. All right, reason number three. We have a nice little kind of open pine area here where a hen might roost. Now keep in mind, turkeys are ground nesters. They're not like a blue jay or a cardinal where they can get up in a tree and, or a mockingbird torment you in your front yard every time you walk out the door. So she's got to spend roughly a month with her chicks on the ground. Which brings us to reason number three, I believe there's a decline. I'm gonna try to get in fairly tight on this. You look at this pretty place, suddenly you realize there are predators here, bad predators. Kick a hole in it, it boils out with ants. I don't know if you can see those, but there's a fire ant bed here, boiling with ants coming out. I'll get you up real close so you can see them, but that's loaded with ants. All right, if you've been to a dove shoot, you left a bird on the ground for a little while. By the time you got to that dove, he was covered in ants. I believe the same thing happens with a turkey poke when he gets born. You got all that membrane and all still on the egg. I believe the ants find it and I believe the ants kill them. Now, maybe not, but I think so. That's reason number three. Reason number four. Also, because turkeys are ground nesting birds, predators. Not just the fire ant predators, but I know coyotes get all the hype these days. Oh, the coyotes are terrible. Coyotes are bad on turkeys. But what's worse on turkeys are nest raiders, coons, possums, armadillos. I don't know what armadillos about. I have seen them in an ant bed, so they kind of get a pass, but uh, I don't know if they destroy eggs, run a hen off the nest. I don't know. I know they shouldn't be here in Georgia, and yet they are. But nest raiding predators, they're on the ground seven days a week, 24 hours a day, looking for eggs. All right? Not only are they looking for eggs, but a coon will kill the hen while she's sitting if she tries to defend them, and then eat the eggs after they kill the hen. So that said, reason number four, and that's a biggie, nest raiding predators such as coons. Don't leave out snakes either. I've seen camera studies that were done on snakes, and snakes eat a lot of eggs. You don't believe it, raise chickens and see how quick, or quail, and see how quick old chicken snakes come to your house. All right, reason number four. Okay, before we get to the fifth and final reason that I believe that the turkey population is declining, 
I'm just going to say this. When I first started turkey hunting in the early 90s, I could walk out the door of my house, owl hoot, and have five to seven gobblers go off at any one time. Uh, that is no longer the case. Now, wherever you hunt, it may be that you're experiencing the same thing. For us, I've noticed a dramatic decline in the last, say, 10 years. Uh, it's not like it used to be. I used to see hens with poults routinely around the farm. They would have 10 or 12. Now I'm lucky to see a hen with one or two. Something's happening, and I don't know what's causing it. Uh, it's not just things like predators, because the predators were here when the turkey population first took off. I'm old enough to remember when there were no turkeys here in the 80s and when they first got here. I thought it was buzzard tracks and somebody said, no, that's turkeys. Thank Lord it was. Now, that said, what can we do? What's the number one reason? The number one reason, I think, is... Right there. I believe that we are shooting, and that is a vintage 870. Uh, I believe that we are shooting too many turkeys. I think the limit of three is too much. I think we, and you know, you don't have to, it doesn't have to be DNR sponsored for us to make a difference. Uh, with us, we hunt about 600 acres of land. Uh, with us, we've limited, and there's three, sometimes four of us hunting. We've limited it to one bird a piece. That's it. We each take one mature gobbler. Once we get our mature gobbler, season's over for us. We just let them stay and don't disturb and let them do their thing. Now, is that the reason? I don't know. I think we're killing too many. Uh, I also think that part of that killing too many, that's an old 870. It's killed a lot of turkeys. But the turkeys it's killed were at 30 to 35 yards max. It's not three and a half inches. I can't shoot one at 60 or 70. Heck, this year I couldn't shoot one at 30. I missed the heck out of them. Hope you watched the video. However, that is our top five reasons we believe that the turkey population is declining. Uh, feel free to leave any comments. If you disagree, leave them. If you agree, leave them. Uh, but just something I was thinking about, and I'm hoping everybody can get on board with if DNR limits it, great. If not, Let's us just take one bird apiece and see if that helps the population recover. Thank you guys for watching.